What's up guys welcome to tactical fishing um, where we get down and get it done and we go after bass and the biggins I call them crackins uh, nice day cool day laid back day and um, about to go and pop some rods so let's get it popping Hey, what's up guys? We're here at Griffith Lake. <clears throat> I'm gonna start in this area right here. And um, I decided just to just stop right here and just fish right here. Then what I'm gonna do is work my way all the way around like to the main little spots and area's gonna cast a little bit. So let's get it poppin'. All right, let's get it going. Let me see what I'm gonna work with first. Sometimes I decide on the most, I've done it so much, I decide on the most unlikely type thing, you know, and then I work the likeliest thing. I'm gonna throw around this tree, it's a big tree lay down right here. So I'm just gonna mess around in this spot, do a couple casts and just move on to something else so I just wanted to just stop right here cast around a little bit in a couple casts with each lure and then just move on this grass is this lettuce is something else man I'll tell you let me check something. All right. I'm just trying to make sure that this um, <clears throat> swimmer stays afloat. I cast over here, and I'll be done messing around with this lure. Looks good in the water. Oh, that's a a nice underspin on a Walmart swim bait. This swim bait has got me a lot of big fish. This little swim bait is pretty cool. Uh, so we're gonna underspin a little bit, and then we'll switch it up to the Colorado Blade. Uh, Two cast out of this and move to the next spot. Let's see what I can do along this strip right here. See any fish moving. See nothing over here. See nothing creeping. Try to underspin over here. I 
think I'm cutting some grass. Distances. It's a pretty nice spot. Oh. I don't see no fish moving. Power blade moving right through that grass. All right, I'm gonna just mess with the worm twice. I'm gonna head over to this other spot. <clears throat> I did not show the Colorado blade. Oh. This is the Colorado blade, no trailer, thick blade. And I'm working the black worm bullet weight Texas rig style. Just gonna tuck this bad boy in. I'll throw this twice. Am I tangled up? Yep. I'll throw along this giant branch right here. I know it might be some fish just straggling along. See what I can get. With this black trick worm. Black works for me really really well trying to move through this grass so we can pop all right let's see what's the drop ratio Trying to figure out the drop ratio. How fast this bait is actually dropping. I'm gonna throw it along this edge because the deep water is over this way. Just let that sink all the way down, man. Let that drop. Lightly popping it. Trying to see what's going on right here. Then I'll move over into that little corner over there. something happening over there. Alright, let me get out of here. My black trick worm. Alright, let's move it. Time to move it out. See what's up. 
popping. Oh. I caught one of my biggest fish of 2020 back in that corner during the winter time. It was like two months left after the winter ends. Caught like a close to about eight pounder. Big mama. That's a big fish. Fish was ginormous. Oh. Keep bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. <clears throat> Trying to find something that's going on. That little corner seems promising right there. Let's see. Hit that corner right in there. I'm gonna try each lure once. Move on. Nothing on the Colorado blade, so we're gonna move right along to the uh, to the underspin. Let's see what down the spin does in that little corner right there. Hung up. Oh my god. Oh man, I lost my underspin. Ah. Cheese nuggets. God darn it. Lost my god darn underspin. I need to go buy some more when this tax is come when my when my stimulus check comes. Man. That's something you don't want to lose. It's a good underspin. So we're gonna go for the trig worm. Hit that area. See what we do, man. It's a big branch right there. I'm just being a cut on the branch. Branch is too far out. Come on. Trick worm. Alright guys. 
going to continually move out. And I'm going to replace that underspin with my swim bait. Let's roll out to the next spot. Oh. This place produced a little bit for me. That big, almost eight pounder. Caught a couple of fish after that. I got a hit. It was all on a black trick worm and and they underspin. So we're gonna just check around a little bit. See what's going on. Gotta find me a good opening. Beautiful view, man. Beautiful, beautiful. To be out in the open. It's nice. See, baby. If I give it one more shot. The Colorado. Let's see what we can get out of here. I can see it moving. some silver. I'm going to give the worm a shot. <clears throat> We're going to keep it moving. Cause I got to get something going. Got to catch some bass. Some biggins. We have got to get the biggins, huh? The biggins, yes. The biggin. Come on, somebody. Hit me, baby. Jang it a little bit. They get these fish attention, man. I ever get close to the bank like this, I just kind of light pops. <laughs> Alright, one more shot with this trick worm. I gotta slow it down. at the 
bottom. Come on, trick. That was a deer. Come on, baby. Just kind of shake it a little bit. All right. We got nothing popping in this area at all. All right, we're going to switch it up to the good old, good old swim. All right, we are ready to work the KVD, the KVD Strike King, Strike King clear plastic with the uh, drill net open out in hook, and it's a three. At weight. Uh, let's see if these fish want some of this good old swim bait. swim bait works so well. We'll get a swim bait. One more heave hole. We're gonna be. We're gonna be. Done. This time I'm just gonna instead of jerking it, <clears throat> like I always do, I'm just gonna swim it on in. Alright guys, <clears throat> that's it for today, uh, when I do hook up, I'm going to just post that at the end of the video, so if you like what you've seen and um, it's helpful for you, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit that subscription bell, and um, I will see you guys next time, and remember, 
keep it popping.